Coming up, teams around the NHL try to start the new year on a high note. This is Locked On Game to Game, NHL. Every game, every team, every angle. Locked On Game to Game, your team every day. Welcome in. You're listening to Locked On Game to Game NHL local experts going over the biggest stories on the ice. I am your host, Kainani Stevens. Thank you so much for making Locked On your first listen every single weekday. The Hurricanes rally late to get their 11th straight victory, this time at the expense of New Jersey. Locked On Devils goes over the shootout loss at home. What's up? This is Trey Matthews of Locked On Devils, and here is my post-game reaction. So, the New Jersey Devils lost another heartbreaking game, this time to the Carolina Hurricanes by a score of 5-4 to four in a shootout. So, the good news is the New Jersey Devils walk away with something. But the bad news is, is that it was kind of there for them once again. But unfortunately, Mackenzie Blackwood had a couple mishaps. But the main story in this game was that our baby big three came to play because – Jesper Bratt was able to score twice. Nico Heischer scored. Jack Hughes scored. So Mackenzie Blackwood is like a cat with nine lives. So despite some of his mishaps, despite some of his blunders, uh, he was bailed out by some of the leaders of the team, and that's what you like to see. But as the game progressed, Mackenzie Blackwood was able to redeem himself, but unfortunately the damage had already been done. But at the same time, with how tight the Metro is, the Devils will be happily uh, a- be able to just walk away with something compared to nothing. So they got the point, not the two points they had in mind, but hey, you just got to take what you could get. Eric Carlson set a new Sharks record with his point streak, and San Jose scored five unanswered goals against the Blackhawks. Locked on Sharks recaps the win. Locked on Blackhawks once again going over a loss. The Sharks score five unanswered goals to down the Blackhawks. I'm J.D. Young of Locked on Sharks. The Sharks score, uh, after giving up two goals in the second period, the Sharks score five straight to take down the Blackhawks in uh, a, a great way to start the new year. Eric Carlson extends his franchise record now, uh, point streak to 13 straight games with a point by adding two assists. Uh, Timo Meyer gets on the board, and we saw more of the... Depth scoring as Jonah Gadovich also chipped in and Evgeny Sveshnikov as well. So uh, Sharks feeling good about themselves now that they enter into a small break after um, what's been a kind of a rough road trip for them. So we have more discussing this game and, of course, the Stars game on your next episode of Locked on Sharks, wherever you get podcasts. And, of course, you can watch on YouTube as well. The Chicago Blackhawks give up five unanswered goals en route to a 5-2 loss to the San Jose Sharks at the United Center. What's up, everyone? Jack Bushman here. 2023, New Year, same Chicago Blackhawks. They lose once again to one of the fellow bottom feeders in the NHL right now in the San Jose Sharks. And they picked up where they left off on New Year's Eve in Columbus with a dreadful first period. They were very fortunate to come out of that opening 20 minutes, still tied nothing, nothing. Then in the second, they actually showed some life, jumped ahead two to nothing before everything completely unraveled. They gave up five unanswered, a couple of soft goals by Peter Morazic in net. And the Blackhawks have now lost lost four games in a row and they're four points clear of both the Anaheim Ducks and the Columbus Blue Jackets for dead last in the NHL. For more coverage on this loss by the Chicago Blackhawks, be sure to check out tomorrow's episode of Lockdown Blackhawks, part of the Lockdown Podcast Network, your team every day. Today's edition of Locked On Game to Game is brought to you by Athletic Greens. This is a product that I use literally every day. I started taking AG1 to help me with my immune system, help myself feel healthier. It works with your diet, whether you're gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, whatever it is. It's important to include a multivitamin in your diet. AG1 makes that super simple for you to do. So to make it even easier, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash NHL network. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash NHL NHL Network to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. One goal in every period was enough for Ottawa to snap Buffalo's six-game win streak yesterday. Locked on Senators is in to go over everything for you post-game. One night after a complete collapse, the Ottawa Senators ring in the new year with a victory over a division rival. I'm Ross Levitan from Locked On Senators recapping a 3-1 victory at home where Tim Stutzla had two goals and Jake Lucchini, 
the 27-year-old rookie scores his first NHL goal in his fifth NHL game. Awesome night all around, especially when you consider the Sens exercise some demons, beating a former goalie in Craig Anderson. In goal for Ottawa was Anton Forsberg. Excellent, making 33 saves. Claude Giroux had two assists as well, but... Greg Batherson's point streak did come to an end. It got all the way to 13 games. We're going to have more breaking this one down tonight and tomorrow in the Locked On Senders podcast. Make sure you check out the postcast as well. It's the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. It did not take long for Seattle to get their first win of 2023. They dropped the Islanders 4-1 on Sunday. Locked On Kraken and Locked On Islanders are in to recap the details from both sides. Hey, Seattle hockey fans, happy new year and the Seattle Kraken get a win in the 2023 portion of their second ever season. They get that 4-1 victory over the New York Islanders. Martin Jones let up a little bit of a wonky goal in the first period, but that's all she wrote for the Islanders as the Seattle Kraken maintained the rest of the possession and really the chances. That being said, I do think that the star goaltender in this matchup was from the Islanders Sorokin with a fantastic performance, 24 of 26 shots. He pushed aside even strength four of five on the power play had a really fantastic performance. The Seattle Kraken did win this game. I thought they started early. They got that first goal by Adam Larson, but it was a bit of a lackluster performance. So looking for more consistency as they move forward, but on Monday's episode, we'll break this one down a little bit. The four, one win over the Islanders and Gil Martin will be joining the show. We'll talk about this game and maybe also a little bit about the winter classic and what one in Seattle might look like, including who we would play all that's coming up on locked on Kraken. The Islanders fall flat in Seattle. Gil Martin of Locked On Islanders here. The New York Islanders played so well their last three home games, winning all three and playing good, solid, smart hockey. They did nothing of the sort in Seattle on New Year's night. Just didn't look like they came off the plane ready to skate, were out hustled, out hit, out everything, really. Did not play sound positional hockey. And Just didn't get very many scoring opportunities. The power play continues to struggle. And and just overall, a a poor performance by the Islanders, with the exception of Ilya Sorokin. The result, a 4-1 to loss in Seattle. Islanders hoping to get some of their injured players back soon because the way this is going, they are going to need them for the rest of this road trip. For more, listen to and watch the Locked On Islanders podcast with me, Gil Martin, wherever you get podcasts. That's going to do it for this edition of Locked On Game to Game NHL. Thank you for making Locked On your first listen every weekday. Make sure that you subscribe to Locked On NHL and your favorite team's Locked On podcast on YouTube and wherever else you get your podcasts from. I'm Kenani Stevens. This has been Locked On Game to Game.